According to Arrhenius, acid is a substance which, when dissolved in water, produces hydrogen ion as the only positive ion. Meanwhile, a base is a substance which, when dissolved in water, produces hydroxy ion, OH minus, as the only negative ion. I am Flash Isaac. You are welcome to my chemistry class. Today, I'm going to be talking about the common acids, the common bases, and their uses, and also examples of acids. You probably know the meaning of acid, the meaning of base. Before now, would you have been able to give up to five, six, seven examples of acids? Up to three, four, five, six, seven examples of bases? If yes, nice. If no, look at them. Common examples of acid are hydrochloric acid, H2SO4, tetraosophosphate acids, Trazo nitrate 5 uh, acid HNO3, citric acid from lemon or lime, acetic acid, this is also referred to as ethanoic acid, fatty acids and tartaric acids. Meanwhile, for bases, sodium hydroxide is a base, and most of these bases they have a common names: uh, caustic soda, uh, slake lime, and so on. So sodium hydroxide. It's a base, potassium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide, aluminium hydroxide, ammonium oxide, and ammonia. What is hydrochloric acid used for? It is used to remove rust from iron. We are talking about the common uses that you can relate to. H2SO4 is used as a drying agent, dehydrating agent, and electrolyte in lead acid accumulator. There is a big difference between drying and dehydration. Drying is the removal of water, water molecules. Meanwhile, dehydration is the removal of elements that make up water. Water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen or OH. If you are beginning to remove those elements of water, you are dehydrating. H2SO4 is used to dry ammonia and H2S. So these are dry agents used to dry gas. So, Dehydrating agent or dehydration is the removal of elements of water like hydrogen ion or hydroxy ion. So when you remove the elements that make up water, you are dehydrating and this will affect the structure of the element or of the substance or of the compound. So dehydration is bad. That's why it's bad to say you are dehydrating. Do you know what I'm saying? Elements H plus or H minus is being removed from your body, you may go. So when you are talking about water, removal of water, not enough water, you talk about drying. HNO3 is used in making fertilizers and explosives. Citric acid is used for fruit juice. Acetic acid or ethanoic acid is used for preservatives and dyeing to dye clothes or materials. Fatty acid is used in soap manufacturing. And tartaric acid is used for baking. So take note of these acids and their uses. Very, very important. Then base. NaOH is used in soap making and plastics. Soaps made uh, with NaOH are usually hard soap. Hard. Meanwhile, KOH is used in soap making, but this time around, soft soaps. It is also used for dyeing and electroplating. To plate metal to cover the surface, to make them harder, to prevent them from corrosion, to make them more attractive. Calcium hydroxide is used in making mortar and cement. It's also used in soil liming. Soil liming means neutralizing acidic soil. That is what liming is about. The magnesium oxide is used in toothpaste. It can also be applied in a, to make Andrew liver salt. Aluminium hydroxide is used in, as mordant in dyeing. Mordant helps dye to stick uh, to clothes. So um, aluminium hydroxide is used as a mordant in drying. Ammonia and ammonia hydroxide is used in bleaching and detergents. This is a very, very important topic you should not play with. Take note of all these things, practice them, because a lot of questions will come a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot in chemistry. So thank you, I am Isaac. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos. And feel free to check out my other videos. You'll find them very, very helpful. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.